Hello everyone, welcome to your full moon reading for the week of November 12th. And I'm Angel from Psychic Vision. I have a pick a card reading here for you today. So all you need to do is pick between numbers one, two, and three. So pick a deck. Um, so this would be number one, this will be number two, this will be number three. I also have some charms here for you. So I'll be doing a charm casting reading as well, in addition to the cards. So yeah, let's get started. For those of you who are having trouble choosing or who struggle with choosing a deck or a number, the best way to do this is to close your eyes and take a deep breath. Ask the divine to help you choose which one, which number is for you, or just simply ask which number is for me and open your eyes and the deck or the number that your eyes land on is the number or the deck that's meant for you. Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna get started with number ones. So I'm gonna move number two and three over here. So let's see what this full moon has in store. So first I'm gonna start actually with the charms here for group number one. So those of you who picked group number one, some of you could be getting engaged. This is an engagement ring. Some of you could be getting a commitment in your relationships. You also have the heart, okay? It's actually two hearts. Let me hold that properly two hearts together right there. So the ring and the heart. So commitment in relationships, new relationships forming for those of you who are not in any relationships. You've got the butterfly. So this is all about transition and new beginnings in relationships, in friendships, in life in general. And finally, you have this cute little unicorn here. So the unicorn is all about, again, new beginnings, innocence, and mysticism. Okay, so you getting some gifts from the divine. Okay, clarity from the divine and, and just really forward movement here. So those were your charms. Um, and I put those on the side for group number one. And now let's get into the reading. So what does group number one need to know about the full moon of November 12th? Oh, this dropped out. And what does group number one need to know about the full moon of November 12th? What does group number one need to know about the full moon of November 12th? What does group number one need to know about the full moon of November 12th? What does group number one need to know about the full moon of November 12th? Okay, here we go. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, I like to start with the bottom of the, the cards on the bottom of the deck. For those of you who get readings with me, you already know that. The nine of wands here is telling you guys for group number one, not to be discouraged, that you will start to see some of your goals come to fruition um, the, in during this full moon, okay? To keep moving full steam ahead and not to give up despite any roadblocks that you'll face. Then you've got the king of pentacles or the king of coins. So what these cards mean, I'm gonna turn them around so you guys can see them a little bit better. So what the king of pentacles here means is that there will be, some of you will be getting some extra money for the holidays from your jobs. Some of you will be getting a new job for those of you who are unemployed. And for those of you who have male partners, the male is going to put more effort into the relationship. Okay. The Empress is the next card number one's half. The Empress, <clears throat> excuse me, is all about, again, manifesting your goals, achieving what you want to achieve, having, you know, abundance and then some having, you know, um, more than, well, not more than, but having what you need financially, being, you know, financially stable and satisfied and having everything that you need to take care of your responsibilities. <clears throat> and finally, you have the Hierophant, okay? So the Hierophant here is all about as well, this is about unity, with those closest to you, this is about finding yourselves and doing a lot of healing and learning and soul searching. Some of you may even join a group or an organization or a meetup, you know, that you that you feel drawn to. Um, this is all about also joining or finding your tribe. Okay, so this is for group number one here. It looks pretty good for group number one. So I'm going to put you guys on the side. Group number two. This is the wisdom of the oracle. I'm going to start with your charms. Group number two. Group number two. You guys have this mother. It's a mother. It's a bit cartoonish, but it's a mother holding her baby. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see this. 
Um, and what this means, this is all about nurturing for you guys. This full moon is going to bring a lot of compassion, a lot of nurturing energy. You all guys also have the butterfly. So you guys are going to have your own positive transitions again as well, new beginnings, okay? Moving from hardships to more positivity. You have the bike. So some of you have some travel Okay, or some of you who are bike riders, you guys will be doing something involving bikes, but the bike typically means travel. And then the comb, clarity. You guys are going to get clarity with things that you were confused about. Okay, and the, these doors uh, are going to, the doors, some doors, opportunities are going to be open for you guys, number two. So, and opportunities for travel. Okay, and some of you for working with children as well. So let's take a look. I'm gonna put those charms aside and let's take a look at your cards. So let's see, what does group number two need to know about the full moon of November, of November 12th? And what does group two need to know about the full moon of November 12th? And what does group two need to know about the full moon of November 12th? What does group two need to know about the full moon of November 12th? And what does group two need to know about the full moon of November 12th? What does group two need to know about the full moon of November 12th? And what does group two need to know about the full moon of November 12th? Okay, look at that. So you guys at the bottom of the deck, you guys have the higher power. So this card is asking you guys to connect with the divine, to connect with your intuition, okay, during this full moon to manifest your desires because your intuition is going to be very strong throughout this full moon. The fates card, okay, there's going to be a lot of potential. The fates are saying that things you for this full moon is meant to bring you positivity and happiness, the happy, happy card. So you guys are going to have some positive breakthroughs, some pleasantly, you know, some pleasant surprises, I should say. And then the never ending story. Okay. So you guys will have things and people from the past would try to come back into your lives with the never ending story saying you don't have to entertain these people you don't have to go back to the past you're going to have some new positive experiences that really draw you more than this past negativity and that you guys your worries you guys are warriors number two and you guys worry a lot this is saying to you that you don't you know, you, there's no need to worry that you have, there's light at the end of the tunnel, there's positivity coming for you guys. There's some positive developments, new financial opportunities, new romantic opportunities. For those of you who are in a relationship, a strengthening of your relationships, a strengthening, and then, and for those of you who are single, new positive relationship. And also, this is talks about financial growth, okay? That your worry is, you know, unnecessary because you're going to see this full moon is going to bring a lot of positivity that you guys are going to go, oh, you know, I was worn, I was worrying for nothing here, you know. So, yeah, this is for group number two. I hope this resonates with you guys. And now I'm going to move on to group number three here. And this is the Mystic Lunarmon deck. And so you guys, group number two, I'm going to start with your charms. You guys have the, the first charm you have is the binoculars here. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to try to hold it up so you guys can see or even put it in my hand. There you go, the binoculars. And this is about you guys realizing, having epiphanies and seeing things clearer. Okay, this full moon is going to bring clarity for you guys. Clarity in terms of your spirituality. You guys also have this unicorn. And the butterfly, by the way, the butterfly was in all three numbers. So all three groups are going to go through positive transitions and new beginnings. Okay. Although with group number three, you've got the turtle, okay, which says that your transitions that will be slower than the other two groups. They're going to be slow but steady changes, which is fine. And when the turtle's here, there's also going to be some slow but steady changes in finances for you guys as well. Okay, so that's always welcome for sure, right, guys? So, yeah, I'm going to now do your cards. So let's see, what does group three what does group three need to know about the full moon of November 12th? And what does group three need to know about the full moon of November 12th? And what does group three need to know about the full moon of November 12th? And what does group three need to know about the full moon of November 12th? What does group three need to know about the full moon of November 12th? And what does group three need to know about the full moon of November 
12 and this one jumped out okay so here we go at the bottom of the deck for you guys you have the tower so the tower is all about you guys focusing